<laughs> Dude, I'm tired. Like, I know, but I thought that pause was like, hang on, fucked up something. <laughs> nope, nope. I'm just looking at no shit. Point. No, yeah, I watched... Um, How you guys doing today? Hey, everybody. We're the Ungodly Geeks. We do things. My name is Joe. I'm Luke. And uh, we're going to talk today about things that we are interested in. Yeah, so... That's kind of how did, we roll. What we didn't do was go see Aladdin. We did not go see Aladdin. Um, it was an idea, though. It was, it was something we were thinking about doing, but Luke didn't get up on time. Oh, uh, no, I was very tired. Yep, which I completely understand. Um, but we were going to go and, and see it and, you know, we talk about how much of an abomination it is. Yeah, it just didn't. It doesn't. None of these Disney live actions need to happen. Like, I mean, it's that, not. I, first, I guess, first of all. It's not really live action. It's this one is CGI with some people thrown in. No, that see that's from. I mean, okay. Granted, I haven't seen the movie, right. but from watching the trailers and watching the what arguably is like at least to me one of the biggest parts of the movie. Yes, uh, which is the Prince Ali song in the animated movie. Um, Prince Ali is absolutely crazy. Yeah, like the amount of people they're carrying animals and. They're just throwing insane. gold everywhere. Genie is transforming and all this shit. You can watch the video on YouTube because I think it was a cut from the trailer uh-huh. um, where the f- like m- a good portion, like uh, m- more than the first half of the song is on there. Yeah. And it looks like a stage show. It's Robin Williams dancing around, singing. Um, there's lots of people. It's, you know, big Robin, fanfare. Robin I'm not, I'm sorry. Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith, yeah. Will wow. Smith dancing are, around and singing. They're, they're complete opposites. One's, yeah, but they're playing the same character. Yeah, but one's and dead very, and white, the other one's alive and black. So. <laughs> yes, but I'm very, very tired. And Robin Williams will forever be the genie to me. Just well, no, I'm completely, my generation, I'm completely but, on board with that. Like, yeah. But it's just, it's like a it's, it's like a theater show production is what it looks like. If there is much CGI, it's just the elephant, mm-hmm. um, as far as I saw. Like, there's not much. That's, I think... Um, <laughs> you know what though uh, what would be my biggest problem with the movie is I wanted a fucking CGI fest and it does not look like that's what it got I watched um, uh, the black nerd on YouTube uh, and that's literally his channel name Not I'm not being an asshole um, black nerd reviews uh, I just can't remember his actual name right now but he's great great video, great channel does reviews of like classic stuff um, I have no idea what he's talking about. He's a fucking... Don't worry about it. He's a YouTuber. Go check him out. He's cool. Um, but he was talking about his review of the movie, and he specifically said the movie is most like the Aladdin stage show that they yeah. put on at Disney California Adventures. Yeah. And then I think there was another Aladdin-like Broadway thing. Right. He said this movie is like that, which he liked because he had seen those things. I've never seen those things. I did not want the movie to be like that. I wanted it to be a fucking digital crazy version with Will Smith. I mean, yeah. So you know, that's, I don't know if I would be in that into it. I don't know. I mean, I might. <laughs> you might enjoy the hell of it. I, I don't know. I'm like, I like, I was on a kick um, the other day at work where I was listening to Aladdin songs, both the new ones and the old ones. Uh, and I mean, Will Smith's not bad. It's Will Smith. He's yeah. a good singer. You can sing, you can rap, you can dance. You know. Um, they cut out. It looks like they cut out any references to, like, obviously Robin Williams. That that was his whole humor. That's his thing. Yeah, his references, impressions, things like that. That's all gone. But um, I mean, even without that, the songs are still good. I mean, and you know, Will Smith's a decent comedian in his own right. He's a decent comedic actor in his own. Yeah, right. comedic so, I mean, actor. He's not a comedian. Uh, he's not a comedian. He's but he's a good comedian. He can be actor. funny. Yeah, he, he, that's and that's all it really takes. You know. Yeah. He can act, he can sing, he can dance, he can rap, he can do these things. He doesn't need Robin Williams. The CG on the genie is the shit that everyone was mad about in the trailer. It's the same. They didn't change it right. like they said they would. Of course not. It did not get updated. It's it's pretty much the exact same, which is not that surprising. That was done. <clears throat> no, I mean, they did that, and that would cost uh, an insane amount of money to sit there yeah. and redo but, you know, it bothers me that they're only doing these live-action remakes to hold on to whatever trademarks and copyrights that they Well, have. no, they're doing it as a cash grab because they already have their method of holding on to the copyrights. That's using the Disney ball. But um, So that the, the whole live-action to hold the copyrights, they don't need to do that. Yeah. 
but it's a cash grab because they made the first one. Um, Lion King. No, 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 no. Lion King's not even out yet. The oh. first of the live action was things. Was Beauty and the Beast? No, no, no. It was, was before that. There. Well, they've had the prequel to um, Sleeping Beauty. They've had the Huntsman. And oh, all that, done, that was there. All, that all was... of this is these oh, Disney live action. Yeah, no, it's it, there's a lot of these movies. It's just now people are paying attention because they're getting to doing the movies. With with Beauty and the Beast, I think that was the first one where they directly did, no, this is the fucking movie. Yeah. And then they did Jungle Book. Yeah. Um, but before that, they were kind of like dancing around the movies. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, the and then there, again. Melisandre. Was that? No, that's fucking Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, we're, which uh, we'll talk about Maleficent. 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 I can't say her name right now. Maleficent? Malefi- Maleficent? Well, maybe. Bitch I, with the apple. I mean, yeah. Wait, no. We, yeah, no, she yeah, that's, the apple. Yeah, that's the bitch yeah, with the yeah. apple. Bitch with the apple. She had to poison the apple and turns into a yeah, giant, they did badass her, purple and green dragon. Purple, black, and green was, dragon. Was, cool yeah um they did her prequel and now they're doing her evil movie i guess where she's gonna actually be they changed her backstory to make her a sympathetic like she's not evil and then she turns evil because the humans are bad and they tore her wings off or some shit she was a fairy all right so why does she turn into a dragon now (laughs) Because she's a magic fucking powerhouse. Okay. She's a witch. She has dragon powers. She's apparently. a sorceress. She's a sorceress now. She's she's Jennifer. She was queen of the fae or something like that. I don't. Know, I didn't watch that movie either because it looks she, shit. She's Jennifer mixed with a dragon. Like that's how it is. Because <laughs> Jennifer is our beautiful dark haired sorceress from Witcher Three, and it's a dragon. Yeah. Fuck it. I was thinking she's closer to um, chick from Dragon Age, but I can't remember her name. I know nothing about Dragon Age, so I'm going to draw from what I know, yeah. and what I know is Witcher. The Witcher. Which, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because Yennefer is badass. Yeah. But although she's more closely associated with ravens, but whatever. You know the thing, they never really, sh- they, they show them, obviously they do magic in The Witcher, they never go overboard with the magic. No, not it's really. It's very little. It's always like they seem like they like they talk about how powerful these witches are, and then you with the ones you fight, girl, just you know, he stabs them, and it's like okay, <laughs> no, apparently wasn't they're not that powerful, and well, they're I mean, getting murdered by the uh, you got to have like a inquisition. Balance. You got to have a balance though between That's true. like lore and game mechanics. No, I get, I you know, get like, that, like if you I mean, sat there, you gotta have that balance though. It's like Geralt's like, oh, I don't really want to tangle with a witch, but he will fuck a witch up any day of the week. Yep. Uh, the things you until really... they teleport him into the ocean on his bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, nearby lake. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was really pissed off. <laughs> you know, like yeah. you oh. fucked my best friend. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, the um, I've been wanting to play that game again. The Witcher Three. I need to. It's what. It's still like every time I go back, I'm like, yeah, I should play this. But uh, maybe I should play one of the other 400 games I have on my yeah, list. Yeah, like we we have this back. Like I started playing Resident Evil Four on the Switch because it dropped a few <laughs> days ago. Oh God, don't tell me that. Yeah, no, it's 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 out. And of the three ports to the Switch, it is the least shitty. It's the least shit. Oh, like, the, the three remake. Port. Where was an evil? Where was an evil zero? And oh, evil yes. four. They ported them to switch. And are the others bad? Like the others are really fucking terrible when it comes to bugs and shit. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, like they're 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 just bug ridden. Does this port have that graphical error where sometimes you get the green specks uh, along the screen? Was that present in the Xbox HD remake? I don't remember. I know it was in the Weaver. I don't have a problem with that. No, okay. it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a direct port from the Xbox and PC. Okay, then so, I think it should be fine because I don't remember it on the PC either. No, no, no on the PC <laughs> it's fine. Like I, I've literally, I've gotten about halfway through the game on the PC. Yeah, I'm at that point where you know, uh, well, maybe not halfway, maybe a third of the way. I'm at the point where you're in the Ganada's castle and you you got to run from the uh, the giant the giant yeah, uh, I think statue. No, I got all the way. I beat the, I beat the game, and then I got to halfway through Ada's yeah side yeah. missions, which all that's included. Yeah, so all oh, of course. There. Yeah, it's thirty bucks though, which is a bit insulting. Um, you know, for a re-release of a game that's been re-released 30... twice, in addition to its original release, you had to re. Well, actually, made more. No, no, it's been that. released a thousand times. It's like been, on different. Yeah. 
it was released consoles. on the GameCube originally, and it was originally supposed to be an exclusive. Later, they announced it was going to release PS2, on the PS2. Then it was re-released Xbox, on the Wii. It Wii, was re-released on the Xbox PC, 360 arcade. Yeah. It was re-released on the PC. It was a uh, there was a mobile port to Android and iOS. Oh my God, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, there, was, there was also a mobile port to high-end feature phones. Like flip phone type things, yeah. not smartphones, but not dumb phones. That in between there, they're called feature phones, and there was a mobile port to that. Oh God! Uh, and there was it's a, the Skyrim of Capcom games. It's the Skyrim of Resident Evil games. Yeah, because I would argue that there are a, probably a couple Mega Man's who could be the Skyrim. Like Mega Man Legacy Collection has been ported everywhere oh, that's too. True. That's on it's on PC. It's on 3DS. It's on Switch. It's on Xbox. But they didn't. They didn't go back to like make an Xbox 360 version or a PS2 version. Well, yeah, but it's also not quite that that old. Exactly. But, what I'm saying is they've literally put some of these on everything. Either way, yeah. Oh, well, you know what, though? Skyrim is the Tetris of RPGs. Yes. Because Tetris is everywhere. Or it could be the Doom of RPGs, if you prefer. It is the Doom is everywhere. of first-person games. <laughs> no, no, because Snake's not everywhere. <laughs> Snake is everywhere. But Tetris and Doom... Are everywhere. It Doom, is the brick breaker. There, there is of a 3D keyboard. animated game. There is a keyboard that can run Doom. Okay, Luke. There's, There's a keyboard that can run Snake. <laughs> I mean, nobody cares about Everything Snake. Can, I know, but I'm I'm just saying it's the something of something's really dumb, and I shouldn't have said it in the first place. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it doesn't matter because it's been said, and we went off on a tangent about yeah, it. But uh, that that that's that's something I'll have to play now too. Um, oh my god. Yeah, no, it's it's a good. It's, uh, it's, it's, on everything. It's, it's just good to hear that it doesn't have that graphical. No, issue. no, I don't see it. Like it looks fantastic. It runs to sixty frames. You mm. know, even in handheld mode, it's like nice. It, it looks better. nice. It's fun. It's fun. The controls are a bit wonky. Um, type three is probably the one you want to use, mm-hmm. but it's weird because Type three are the original GameCube controls, which mm-hmm. of course are the best. I will fight anybody who wants to say anything different. Mm-hmm. But the problem with that is. Um, it doesn't use the triggers. It uses the actual shoulder buttons, which are weird in wow. handheld mode. Like you know, like how the trigger, like like with the shoulder buttons on the GameCube, you aimed and used your knife, right? We well, use <clears> the <throat> triggers. Well, yes, but that, yeah. that that was the only buttons on I mean, the. That's thing what I was going to say. Other than Z. But you don't use in this one if you set it to the GameCube controls. You use the actual L and R buttons, not the Z L and Z R triggers. Ah, that's really lame. Yeah, like it, it's. You can use the triggers in other control schemes, but yeah. you only got three, and that's the only the, the GameCube one for me is the only one that feels natural. But it feels strange to hit those Do buttons. Do you have to hit A to shoot? A or Y? See, yeah, no, I'm I, see. That's the one thing <clears throat> about the GameCube. I like the control schemes they came out with for like the Xbox three six or the Xbox three sixty or the Xbox One version. Yeah. Um, where I think to sh- you shoot with the right trigger. You can have that here too. Yeah. My problem is is I'm not used to that because I never played the Xbox 360 version like that. Like I always use the GameCube control. Yeah. Cuz that's what I was used to. So I mean I'm I'm going to keep cuz that was the original platform it was on. That's the, that's the platform I mastered that game on. Yeah. So well, I get that. It's just every other video game ever has you aiming with the right stick. So it doesn't matter that that game did it differently back then. Yeah. Now it's just yeah. I aim with my right thumb. That's yeah. just how it is. You can still look around with the Nintendo right was thumb. like the only company that was still on that. Or not Nintendo, but I mean this was made by Capcom. But Nintendo did that with a lot of their games because yeah. the fucking the N sixty four. That's the only choice you had. They didn't have the second thumb stick. Yeah. So a lot of their games that came out even with the GameCube and the GameCube had the fucking C stick, which was not a stick you wanted to aim with either. No, not really. That's, that's, why, that's why in games like Metroid Prime it was relegated to choosing your beams mm-hmm. because that was all it was really good for. Yeah. I mean, but Metroid Prime also kind of did its its scheme really well. I thought it it did it really for limitations. Yeah. Yeah, like it's, it worked it worked well within those those limitations. But I mean. That's kind of why I like the Switch, because you do have two thumbsticks. Unfortunately, this is a Resident Evil game, so you still have to hold a button to aim. Yeah. Because that's just how Resident Evil has has always worked. The new Resident Evil 2. Well, not new. I guess it's new. It's my, it's, it's new. Complete, I mean, it's got a new it's engine. It's a complete fucking new, remake, yeah. yeah. It's new engine, um, new assets, they did it really new control well, scheme, too. yeah. With uh, the aiming and shooting and everything. It was, it was awesome. <clears throat> All right. It's, it's got me looking forward to another Resident Evil game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's it outsold Resident Evil Seven by far. So, yeah, I mean, Seven, I think, 
being that it was so so different mm-hmm. um caught a lot of people off guard and i don't i think capcom put that out and didn't they didn't put as much advertising into it until it started selling. Yeah. And then I think they were, you know, were, got behind it a bit more. But Resident Evil 7, to me, it surprised me. I didn't play it for a long time. Right. And it kind of came out of nowhere um, compared to, like, 6 and 5, where they advertised the hell out of them and they ended up being shite. All right. So, small touch of news on the stupid. News is stupid. This is a really short thing I just want to touch on because it's funny to me. Hmm. Um, and this story is actually old, so it's not news news. But uh, apparently back in May 14th, 2007, there was a legitimate thing where a lot of schools would not let children have sunscreen. Hmm. You know, that thing you can put on you to prevent you from having skin cancer when the sun is like, fuck you, I'm going to burn your atmosphere up. <laughs> they needed a doctor's note. Because sunscreen. Because apparently they they treat it. A lot of states treat it sunscreen as uh, over the counter medications requiring a doctor's <laughs> note. Like, dude, it's sunscreen. That's not that's not medicine. You know what's medicine? The aloe vera you buy after you get sunburned. That's medicine. Because that's treating a legitimate medical condition. This mm-hmm. is this is just something to keep you from burning. So, yeah, it was just kind of something that's that's dumb. And this was in Providence, Rhode Island. So, of course, it's going to be in Rhode Island, <laughs> the smallest state in our country. I believe Rhode Island is. I could be wrong. Uh, unless you want to count Washington, D.C. as a state, which I don't think you should. But D.C.? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not, it's not a state. It's... It does have its own police force, though, and its own yeah, well, yeah. laws and all that. But it's not technically a state. It's the District of Columbia. Nobody yeah. gives a shit. But yeah, like, like that was a thing apparently. Panama. That, <laughs> Panama. You know though, Panama is nice. That's where NordVPN is based. <laughs> and they have a no uh no logging policy, so Oh, did you see um that there was a Redditor that uncovered over seven trillion possible D and D character combinations? Yeah. What do you mean? He did the math and uh given what you're allowed to choose between races, classes, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Um, multi-classing all the way up to level 20. Um, in 5th Ed, there is over 7 trillion possible character combinations. I mean, that's including, like, everything, like, skill choices and... Every race, and... sub-race, class, archetype, background, and multi-class variant. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Um, 7 trillion, 20 billion, 285 million, 872,418 exactly. The number, if you went back to, like, 3.5 and included all the books, because that's when they were fucking pumping out books like crazy, and they still are, but in 3.5 they were pumping out books that with, like, new classes and new races and everything Mm -hmm. all the time. I bet it's just an insane fucking number. Probably. Unrealistic. I mean, even that is fucking insane. Yeah, no, seven trillion character combinations. Yeah. Let's make them all, Luke! Yeah. Yeah. That's my thing. I don't like playing like the standard human. Yeah, no, it's it's human kind of, fighter or whatever. Just, I want to play something else. Be a basic. I'm bitch. not going to be a dirty elf, but don't, you know, don't, don't be a basic bitch. <laughs> Fucking human fighter. Basic human bitch. fighter is a basic bitch of D and D. It really is. Cause it's like like at least be a variant. You know, <laughs> do something, something, change some shit up, man. Don't be, <laughs> don't be a human fighter for your first game of D and D. I mean, or if you're just learning everything, fine, do it. Fighters are but good know classes that, if you just start out. Well, we will not judge you. Because, you know, we don't. We're, we're a welcoming group. At least mo- some of us are. Enough of us are, I think. Deep down inside, we will be thinking, what a basic bitch. You know what's funny? Is, um... I don't know what the, even the benefit of being human is in... I think it's because you get to choose. Is it in 5th Ed, you get to choose, um... What skills or yeah, what yeah, get, what uh, abilities to, to enhance? You get to choose, but like, as you, you get like a plus two to four two. stats. To, yeah, I um, mean, you can choose whatever they are. Yeah, so like you can choose to have a strength plus and two. con, whatever. Yeah, whatever, basically. Yeah. So um, like, and the variant lets you take a feat, like an extra feat or whatever. Okay, so it is similar to three five. That was yeah. the big thing about three five. If you were human fighter, yeah, 
um, you had like five feats by level four or five, something like that. It was just feats. Because in 3.5, Fighter might as well just said bonus feat and just had levels listed. Yeah. <laughs> you get all the weapons and bonus feats. Yep. Because feats were how fighters did their shit. Yep. Now fighters have lots of abilities and yeah, actually and you know, them, stand up to... Most of them are built right into the class, too. So you oh, can yeah, take feats to do abilities. other things. Yeah, You can take feats to do other things or take ASIs, which for those who don't know, that means ability score increases. And ability scores determine what your skills are. Well, ability scores determine various things, and yeah, your strength, you know, like strength, like, dex, con, yeah, uh, int, charisma, wisdom, your how you are as a character, how much you suck at doing a how thing, how much you suck or don't suck. Yeah, I really, uh, speaking of D and D, they did a big, huge event recently yeah. for um, their in, into hell new expansion that's coming out. Yeah, that I really, really want to get. Um, and I think I, I might, I, I kind of want to run it. Uh-huh. I think, I don't know. I, I obviously I want to play it too, because right, I like right, playing more than running, but I kind of want to run it either way. I want it comes with like this really, I, or at least one version of it, maybe yeah. a collector's edition. I don't know. comes with these really awesome fucking red and yellow fire hell dice. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, I, I want that. <laughs> I, I just want it for that. I want that thing. I just want that. That's all I want. Yeah. I mean, I got my purple and black dice, and I, yeah. dude, those are beautiful. They're just, they're so they're cool. Uh, yeah. And I got my green and green golds, which mm-hmm. are, eh, you know. I got my uh, cat's eye fucking stone dice, whatever they are. They weigh like seven pounds. <laughs> they're pretty heavy. Those as heavy as those steel dice Manny yeah. got. Um, <laughs> Crazy ass. Manny. <laughs> Manny, you suck if you're listening to this. <laughs> Manny, if you're not listening to this, you suck even more. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we do have a Let's couple things we're going to talk about, right, Luke? Yeah, we had, uh, so there's two big things that's happened recently. Yeah, um, very big things. So, start with uh, Game of Thrones. I'll start with Game of Thrones. So, obviously, if you're not caught up on Game of Thrones, there's going to be lots of spoilers. Oh, yeah. Because we're probably just going to talk about the eighth season, or the, uh, yeah, eighth season. Which only had six episodes. season finale, six episodes. I mean, you know, all right, before we even get into it. I, I hate that we were promised feature length episodes and they weren't. They were like an hour. Yeah, no, that, like, that they was, were they were just as long as one of my other friends episodes. was like it wouldn't have mattered if it went another couple episodes uh, because they were all an hour and a half and I was thinking like hey, no they weren't. One of them no. was like an hour ten. There was an hour. There was like an hour and fifteen. Yeah, like the longest episode was the last episode. It was like an hour and twelve or hour and fifteen. Like you said, yeah. it was nothing. There was nothing to it. No, it, it like was, it was it was trash. It was terrible. Um, like. I, you saw that fan petition where that's they, funny i mean it's funny but it's stupid here's the thing um i don't know if they necessarily did a petition but somebody did point out that well no there was a legitimate change no no, no, no i'm talking about a uh, different thing so oh. full metal alchemist the original full metal alchemist series got to the point of where the manga was done and then went off the rails and went shit yeah, it got to a point where the manga hadn't gone. Yeah, like, people they, like, were they, fucking pissed. You know, the funny thing is, is that both of them are good in their own way. I don't know, I didn't like it. Oh all. yeah, that's you, but that's like... A lot of people didn't, that's what I'm saying. The right. fans were fucking pissed. Yeah. So, they ended up... I'm, but And then eight years later, you got an adaptation. Yeah, we got Brotherhood. We people got a proper, clamored for it. We got a proper adaptation. So, while I think it's stupid that they're like, I want Game of Thrones to... I want HBO to redo season eight... What they should be clamoring for is when George R. R. Martin does finish the books, we need to get an adaptation of that. Yeah. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. With an alternate ending that isn't terrible. If that's his ending. I mean, it could have a very similar ending. It would just be fleshed out. I mean, one of the things that George R. R. Martin said in It will be a different ending, yeah. Well, no. He said it was going to... Like, what they did was pretty much how he was going to do it. Uh, or it was pretty close to what he had in mind because he told them how it yeah. was going to end. Originally, yes, he was going to end it, but he has since, in like the last week, been saying my story's different. Yeah, my story. To ta- they they changed the thing, I just where read I was going in the last week. No, I, I know they've literally. He's been back and forth, but yeah. he said just like he's even throwing shade at them now. That's if he finishes. Yeah, he's he's very very fat. And getting old. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with it. Like I'm, I'm legitimately like he could. I think he could die before he finishes. Was he at two or three books left? Uh, I honestly, I, I think 
Yeah, he's, he's five books in. I'm not sure how many books are left. Yeah, I'm, uh, because how long like, he's take like it. each season has been based on like I said for the first like the first season was Game of Thrones. It was based on Game of Thrones. The first book, yeah. And then um, the rest of the episode or the rest of the seasons have been based uh, on multiple books. Yeah, like I think which uh, doesn't that doesn't matter, I'm, right? You know, it's it's who knows how much more of the story. I thought yeah. he had said he had two more books to write. Right, right. maybe. Two, three. Well, who knows? I think a Dance with Dragons was the last book he released. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I admittedly haven't been keeping up with him, but uh, every time I've seen the books, like, like you know, because we sell the sets, every time they pop up at work, I'm like, I should buy that. And he, I've said the same thing every time I get a credit for um, Audible. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like about to look for a new audiobook because it's every time. Yeah, because I've said before, fantasy is my one of my favorite genres. Oh yeah, I get suggested the. Uh, song of fire and ice right ice and fire whatever ice and fire um and i'm like yeah and then in the back of my head i i see that line or that that portion where he just talks about daenerys fucking having diarrhea for a whole paragraph and a half and i'm like i'm good i'm gonna um, go read something else i remember having a, um, <laughs> an ebook of the first book where he literally has a chapter of hodor and it's just, it's Hodor. literally like a page and a half Hodor. of Hodor, <laughs> of just that one word over and over again. Uh, because you're seeing it from Hodor's perspective, and yeah. it's all Hodo, 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 because it's all he can say. That's all, that's how he I expresses mean, himself. It and it's could like, have at least been like in his head, like, uh, even if it was childish, like, the Hodor went through the Hodor. Yeah, Hodor, like, 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 Hodor did some, a Hodor. Like, had some, smurfing Add some objectives, add some, you know, yeah. adverbs, you know, describe or in it. his mind, it could have been like, like that, that twist high of refined. super high, uh, yeah, like, like, English. Like, he speaks the nobles English. Yes. <laughs> like, inside of his head, you know, outwardly, all he can say is Hodor, inside his head, he's, you know, he's speaking like Lord Farquaad by... or whatever, yes. like, you know, I don't know why it's just Lord Farquaad, this is what came to mind, John Lithgow is amazing. It's funny. So, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's, yeah. But, we're gonna have to talk about that, you know, the, yeah. honestly, the Song of Fire and Ice, or Ice and Fire, rather, it, it makes sense for me now, hmm. having seen the entire series, and uh, being familiar with, with what some of the events in the books, like it makes sense because it's dragon fire versus enchanted ice. You know? Yeah. I know. I, I, yeah, that was yeah, like I, yeah, obvious I the second she went, I have dragons. <laughs> and then, oh, but there's ice people in the north. Right. <gasps> fire. Also, it's Jon Snow. Right. Ice See, and fire. I, north the entire Targaryen. time, though, I'm sitting there like, Focusing on Jon Snow fucking Ygritte in the hot spring, you know? Like, that's what oh, I'm focused on. You know nothing, Jon Snow. But he knows how to, how to eat that. <laughs> yeah, he knows how to eat that pussy. He knows you know? how to go down. He knows how to he knows how to uh, chow down, man. But uh, I, I'm focused Jon on the Snow plot knows. and the story. I'm and not then thinking. he knew even less in the eighth season. <laughs> yeah. Except, she's my queen. God. She's he, my queen. He was so fucking. She's the queen. We followed the queen. And, like, he didn't. Li oh, he literally queen. let her go and destroy... The entirety of King's Landing. I mean, okay. he didn't. Spoilers. But then he now. tried to excuse it. That he tried like, to defend it. Yeah, yeah like the she did this. She make, went through that. The, Motherfucker, the she excuses. just killed like eight hundred thousand people. What what I thought was funny when I was watching that, I was like, this is like somebody trying to excuse the lack of any character development whatsoever for this entire season. Yeah. <laughs> Where the characters literally fucking are just doing 180s in an episode and just for no fucking reason... It, it was, Somebody was like, I remember reading something where they're like, they could have even just made a, a throwaway line of Danny being tortured by bells when she was a kid, and it would have made more sense why she fucking destroys the whole city when the bells no, are ringing. She destroyed the whole fucking city because mercy is our weakness. Mercy is what separates you from your father. I'm you sorry, dumb cunt. didn't you cry when your dragon killed a little kid like three seasons ago? Right. I think it was more like five. I think it was in season three. It doesn't matter. Whatever. She is has she literally them been up. battling. She locked two of them up because Drogon fucked off for two yeah. seasons. She locked two of them up in a dark basement because they were eating people. Yeah. They were eating her subjects back in they the arena or where the fuck they were. She, every, yeah, some si every daughter. single place she went. We're not, you know, it's about helping the civilians, and helping yeah. the people, blah, 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 blah. Defeating evil no, men. They they were with Cersei. They were with Cersei, so I had to burn them all. 
no, bitch. What the fuck happened to you freeing people? Yeah, like you're not. What the fuck? Uh, technically, Luke, she did free them. She from freed, the mortal fucking coil. She freed them from the struggles of being alive. Yes. That's, <laughs> Why can't she come here? She went Ultron on it. Yeah, right? Ultron was on the internet for all the five seconds and decided everything needed to go. I know how I can save these humans by wiping them the fuck out. That's the only way it'll work. The only way to save the world. Uh, it's like, I just... It was so went, dumb. She went full Mad Queen. And don't get me wrong. It, it, this is a, something that people that are like, you know, the fans of... I, they just watch it and that's it. Like yeah. the thing, uh, woo, Arya, yeah. that kind of fandom where they just go, well, they've hinted towards it the whole time in different ways. They have, you're she's gotten correct. angry and angrier. However, her dress has gotten more and more ornate as she's gained more she's power. She's gotten darker, yeah. but not to that point. It literally went from, she's fucking protecting all the people in the North, sacrificing her troops even though apparently not, they just multiply somehow. They they bud off and reproduce asexually. Apparently, yeah, no, they're they're like they're like just they're just like cells. The Doth, just yeah, split. the Dothraki are like fucking mice because she lost the entirety of the Dothraki the, horde she had. There were like ten them of them into, that ran back. Yeah, on like foot. and and then in not this only, one and this one she has three thousand. Yeah, what? Oh no. my god! Not to not to mention the fucking unsullied, who the entirety of their front line. Not front, not just front line. Their front forces were all wiped out. Like well, no, ten people um, survived in that fucking castle. They panned through the whole castle, and there were like ten people. Dude, god like, damn it! They just split off, man. They, oh they, my god! That it was, was actually so one of the things that, that clicked for me. Is like we're gonna sail to this island after everything was said and done. So you're just gonna go and get wiped out because you fuckers have no dicks. Like you can't. You oh, exactly. Died. They're just going to go die. On, yeah. on top of that, apparently in the books, there's something about that's the place where if you haven't been born there, you just die from a disease or some shit. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe not. I was just reading in a thread on uh, 4chan's uh, TV board, but that's I mean, a, it's, it's just, just... There's so many There's so many things they did wrong. That battle oh tactically was fucking stupid. I don't even... Uh, that, see, that's something where it's like... That that was annoying, but fine. You're writers, you're not combat. <laughs> yeah, this but, whole okay, season, but, though, but dude, all they had to do was like play a game of Age of Empires. True. Like like watch how the troops line up when even you tell more, them to do a thing and then line the troops up the even same way. More unforgivable than that though, and how stupid that fucking battle was. Yeah. Uh there was not one single decent fight, save kind of for the Hound. You got and the Clegane Bowl, the man. The Clegane Bowl, which was... Uh, I'm someone who was really looking forward to that. Was very... Uh, it was okay. Yeah. It was it was two very large men swinging swords at each other. There was no One choreography. larger than the other. Uh, they're about the same height, No, actually. dude. He towered over him. Because he was on the higher no, steps. He re- Seriously, go back and watch the, se- the episode where... I just watched it. Where they bring the undead thing to show Cersei. Yeah. And they're the same height. So he's on the steps. Oh, you so know, though, that was like a different towering. actor, though, because the, the the mountain's been played by a few different actors. Yeah. Yeah, he's been played by what, since two different actors. Fucked up? Yeah, two different actors. Well, it's Thor right now. It's been Thor. Right, but back in, like, season two, I Either think, way, it was he, a different they actor. Sh- it so looks that, like that, he's towering. That's where I'm telling you where I missed yeah. up. Cause Cause I just watched they through, are the same height. Because I just watched through... Um, because I'm watching through like I was watching through like the first few seasons, yeah. And where they're at the race or the jousting thing, he's a tall. He's like the mountain is like probably around five to six inches taller than the hound. No, in it, that one, but that that guy was like when they're doing the seven foot eight. That's Thor then, because that when he before he goes fucking undead. Yeah, it's I think the actor's name is Thor anyway. He's I have the no giant, idea. He's the strongest man in the world. Yeah, he's the guy who's won the. The strongest man in the world contest like, like 16 times yeah yeah like in a row uh but nobody the, can beat him maybe it's somebody different in this yeah but if he was taller than that then when they meet him later on when he's a zombie and they show him yeah they're the same height yeah. and then here at the end he's on a step higher yeah and then he picks him up which of course he does he's Un- ungodly strong yeah but yeah they, mean, they make only, it look like he's sm- not only is smaller it, not only i mean is uh, the hound is strong, smaller but they're the same fucking height sandor his name is yeah. sandor sandor Clegane. but but uh then. it was like it was just there was they he they just literally just swing at each other yeah um john snow doesn't get a single decent sword combat in this whole season everything that happens in this like is happened in this show 
It, um, if it's something where you, you can tell the spots yeah. where the writers did not know how to uh, unwrite what they wrote. Yeah. Because they just um, they just take away. They, they flip the scene. They yeah. go to they go to something else in the long night. Or I think that's what it was called. The fucking ba- battle battle for Winterfell. Yeah. Every time one of the characters is getting swarmed by zombies, either somebody hits one and they're fine, or more often they just cut to something else. Yeah. And then they cut back and they're fine. Yeah. In fucking the oh my god that the did episode happen where... a lot like that happened uh, like one example is when Brienne of Tarth she gets overrun yes. Yeah. And Jamie walks over with his club he hand. Hits one of them. He hits like yeah, he hits two. He just gives him some credit. He, just he hits two. Swings, yeah. He hits two, but there's like seventeen. And then <laughs> she stands up and she's fine. She's like, <laughs> but she did the same thing for Jamie. Yeah. They, they literally do that like eight times that episode, or they show them getting swarmed and then they cut to something else. I, I think for, Arya running through the fucking tunnels. I mean, there were times the though where she shit. she just got away by pure dumb luck and being small. Yes. Right, like so. I'll give them her. Arya's that that where she's running through the tunnels was the most interesting thing. Yeah. Until you're reminded that oh no wait once again they forgot she's the fucking goddess of death. Yeah. And then they remember and then they forget and then they remember. It's like yeah. they completely forgot this whole season. Yeah. No, she became one of the faceless <sighs> men, and she she. She possibly is the faceless man. Yeah. By like the way that whole thing turned out. Yep. Uh, and then nah, they forgot. Yeah, like just like she's Danny not forgot be, about the Iron Fleet. She's not gonna. Oh god. <laughs> she's not gonna be afraid <laughs> of some fucking oh zombies. Oh my god, that meme was. I mean, I could get her sort of being afraid, and that's why I'm like, oh, so they're not going with that storyline of her being the faceless man mm. because she is like terrified and running scared. Yeah. And then Melisandre says one thing, and she remembers. Oh wait, no, I'm fucking invincible. And. Why we argued, we did talk about that episode. Well, how much I fucking hated that. But, um. Many blue eyes. So, the, the fucking second to last episode when uh, Daenerys is destroying the fucking city. Oh my God. And they keep doing the fake Arya death. Yeah. Where she's fucking blown up. And then the next scene, she she's covered standing in ash, up, or a fucking tower falls on her. And then a fucking tower falls on her, and she stands up. And then there's a fucking like a, an explosion, and like she's buried under. And then she stands up, and it's like just stop, fucking stop. We know she's not dying. Yeah, you, she, they literally did that four times, three, four times. Oh yeah, easily. It was like easily. Okay, we fucking get it. The city is being destroyed. You don't. And Arya is to... walking around in it for some reason. And then horse that they forgot. There was just a horse in pristine condition like, standing oh, in the middle oh, of a go. road. She's going to be the fucking, of a fucking four horseman of death of the apocalypse. Next episode, gone. Anyway, there's a fucking horse in pristine condition in the middle of a road. Not pristine. That is, it, it, it was covered in ash. I mean, fine. it might have had some ash on his ankle. That that horse was in fucking perfect shape, goddammit. And she's just looking at it, and in the middle of the, where this horse is standing, it's just it's just ash rubble. and char and rubble and just charcoal. It, there, it's nothing left. Just just piles of junk and trash. She rides it off, like, yeah, whatever. And then the next episode, it's not there. No, it's gone. They forgot. They forgot about the horse. They forgot about the horse they made such a fucking big deal about. Yeah, no, they, they sit there, they shine light behind it. They shine it. light they behind have, like, it, the she sun walks rays. up to it, and it's like, oh. She, she sits there and pets it, oh, shh, shh, shh. and then, like, that's it. And it's like, that's it. What? No. It's done. And it's not like the next episode starts a uh, fucking two hours, four hours later. It starts, like, right, af- right oh, yeah, after no. that. Pretty much picks up right away, yeah. Because she's still in the city. John finds her in the city. And then by this time, you know, all the troops have gathered in the square or what the fuck ever oh that God. was. There was so fucking much that was just bad. And the the whole showing something and then going away and just kind of writing it off. Like the end when John actually does stab Danny and yes. kills her. And fucking Drogar picks her up, flies away, drops her in the ocean for some goddamn reason. Um, after the funniest fucking scene ever where the dragon is, tis the throne that killed her and it destroys the Iron Throne. Either the dragon is really, really smart or really, really dumb. Sharp pointy thing? Sharp pointy thing. Bah! <laughs> let's, not, let's not breathe fire on the guy that just killed my mother. Yeah. Let's melt that chair. I'm gonna melt the chair. This dude's fine. I'll hide the body for you. Wee. <laughs> God, it was so dumb, but 
Wormtongue didn't just fucking kill Jon Snow? Like, are you, what's, they were slaughtering guys in the streets, but, oh, nope, he's got to go on trial. Are you, no. You fucking hack ass writers. You shit ass. Can see, yeah, when you look at just how blindly oh loyal Wormtongue had been to Danny. Wormtongue. Uh, worm. Uh, oh, yeah, he has um, a name, but he, fucking Wormtongue is what we call him. Well be because that's all I can remember. I know. Right? I call I him that all the time. And usually I'm good with names. Grey Worm. It is actually worm. worm tongue is from Lord of the Lord Rings. Of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, so Grey Worm, yeah, he sits there. He's so loyal. <laughs> Fuck it, so Worm tongue. Retardedly loyal. He's so. They killed my girlfriend. <laughs> anyway, he's but, so, so blindly loyal. I hate loyal. all you fucking white people. He, he's so blindly loyal. Jon Snow stabs his queen in the goddamn chest, takes her out. Why wouldn't? And he apparently kill him? told them, "Yeah, I stabbed her, and the dragon flew away with her." Yeah, which is dumb as fuck. Right. They're. There's so many better ways that that could have fucking ended. I was thinking um, about the whole Arya faceless man thing, how it never fucking comes up. And I was thinking about how amazing it would be a confrontation if that scene happens. Dan, John stabs Danny, lowers her down, and then all of a sudden, Grey Worm and John come running into the throne room and they're looking like, what the fuck? And, you know, they see John standing there. And then fucking Arya pulls off John's face. And has some fucking shit about faceless man or some shit. And, you know, the, the I don't know, the greater good, whatever the fuck. They're getting ready to fight her and she fucking pulls off and it's uh, Hagar or whatever. It's like Jack the actual, and Hagar. Jack and Hagar, the faceless man. And he just fucks, like mind fucks the shit out of them and then jumps out of the tower. Fucking thousand points better ending. I gotta say, like the way they built it up and the way they, they wrote Arya wandering around like... The way Seven she was season? looking at them, you were thinking, yeah. she's going to be the one to kill her, right? The fucking most hilarious line, in other than the fact that, you know, the Drogar's no lines. The most hilarious fucking line, I know a killer when I see one. Yeah. <laughs> she's a killer. No shit. She fucking burned a city of civilians to death. What other Women clues and do children. you need? What? No, she's not a killer. You don't. Jesus John, Christ. Know something for once in your stupid life. She, she's my queen. She's my queen. No, you idiot. She's a fucking murderer. Awesome. She's genocidal as hell. How awesome would it have been if instead of just fucking Grey Worm, apparently they just arrest John and he fucking whines. Grey Worm and some soldiers come up there. Maybe just fucking Grey Worm. And John and Graham have, like, a fight to the death. That would have been amazing. Would have been so fucking good. I, and, I mean, at that point, like, I would want John to win, but that would have been fucking amazing. Yeah, no, because Grey Worm is, like, a badass. Like, he's, he's, yeah, they're he's, both fucking He's badasses. a legit badass. And so you got this 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 man who was trained from, from birth to where he is now to just fight versus a, a, a man with plot armor and great swordsmanship skills. Yeah, who's like, been trained... Since he was a since child. he was a child as to well, fight. by like how and yeah. has fought uh, everything. He's you fought numerous battles. He's he's been in actual wars. Yeah, you know, like let him fight. That would have been so fucking great to see a showdown with them, and then even to have extended it more, where you have a showdown with like the end of the um, uh, Unsullied, yeah. where they just they're just throwing themselves at. The remainders of the Northern Army plus all the other armies that they've gathered. Yeah. Because I'm sorry, if they get to fucking mass produce, then all the other armies should be mass fucking produced. Yeah, you should you should go from even 10, Sansa to... threatens the shit out of them at the end. Yeah. We have a fucking army that will that uh, surrounding your castle. Yeah. Uh, it would be a difficult battle. Blah, 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 blah. No. Just that. Oh my god, that ending pissed me off so much. It, it was it was terrible. The only there's a um, you know what though the memes have made it all worth it. The memes are great. Yeah. There's lots of videos <laughs> online. There's one that I watched after every episode this season. Um, I think it's like Game of Thrones, what the fuck or something like that. Yeah. Um, that every episode they just do this like, it's like YouTube poop almost, <laughs> but it's funny. Yeah, um, Game of Thrones WTF edition. Yeah. Every episode they do it. Uh, the final episode was fantastic. At the very end where Jon Snow is kneeling to Bran. Or Bran. Bran after, the Broken. Bran the Broken has been named king. Literally the worst fucking choice. Out of everyone there. 
the dumbest fucking thing. Most of those characters do not even fucking know him. He has had done nothing. Yeah. The for the last two seasons, other than sit there and go, I'm not really one of you anymore. I'm not really here right now. I'm gonna go fucking fuck off. Uh, uh, like the most useless, dumbest fucking choice. However, at the very end of the episode when Jon Snow is kneeling, it starts playing the music from, um, uh, I think, uh, uh, what's not Halloween? The uh, movie with Jigsaw. Saul? Saul, yeah. <laughs> it starts playing the Saul. I think it's the Saul tune. And Jon Snow's kneeling. And it starts doing flashbacks of all the things that have happened throughout the series. Yeah. Where, like, Tyrion shoots uh, his father. His eyes are white from <laughs> Bran mind could fucking him. Like, the scene where um, the, the Red Wedding, when what's-his-name is having everyone killed. Uh, I can't remember the house. Walder Frey. Walder Frey. Walder Frey's eyes are white. Like, all these different parts has been set up by Bran so he can be the king. And it's like playing that dun, dun, that, that really ominous-ass music. And Jon Snow's just kind of st- looking up at him in his retard face, which he has had this entire goddamn season. And it's like, oh my god, if that was real, if all of this was set up by Bran the whole goddamn time to be king, to be the fucking king of the six kingdoms, ah, oh, that's so cool. I have to admit, um, that would make that last season, that last... It would make oh, it all oh, worth it. so much better. It would be like, oh my god, what a twist. Like an awesome twist. Like a good twist, not an M. Like Shyamalan twist. It's like Sansa. Like, they don't show... She's a fucking... One of the dumbest characters up until the last two seasons. Yeah. They do not show her enough being smart, but the one thing I will give them credit for is the whole... With the little finger... Like, that she's learned from him. Yeah. She did. She manipulated the shit out of everyone and is now the queen in the north. Yeah. She got exactly what she wanted. She's a cunt. She's the queen in the north. She manipulated the shit out of everyone, got rid of John. got rid of <laughs> all her competition. And Although, to be fair, she did not want to get rid of John. She wanted John to be the king in the north. No, I don't think. I mean, it, yes, by what we saw, but... The in my I want to read more into it so that I'm not as fucking right. angry. Yeah, I see it. I I, I kind of I, I see it as oh no, she manipulated shit, and then no, the North must be independent. Bitch, you don't get a choice. <laughs> That's what someone sitting in that council should have said. Especially the fucking Greyjoys. Is that like why didn't she pipe up and say something? Because they've been looking for fucking uh, independence yeah. for how long? And she just goes, wait, we can just do that. We could just declare it. I don't get it, man. Oh my god, it's just so bad. Brand, brand the broken. How that? How, there's that image you posted. Yes, I don't really like uh, that. I, lo- I love that. Um, <laughs> brand the broken. Uh, yeah, can we really not go with that? Brand the beaten up or busted up. Bust. Well, yeah. I okay. Pull okay. Up. Or so brand the wheelie wheelie legs no feeling. <laughs> <laughs> that. That right there. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, made me so happy. Like, like, uh, I, I personally think that Bran was probably the best choice they could have made. No, not considering at all. what he became, the dumbest fucking. Okay, the dumbest fucking thing would have been putting an idiot who stood up and tried to talk. No, like would have been idiot. a much better choice. I don't think so. He's an idiot in the show. I guess in the books he's different. But no, he's a legitimate person with military and leadership experience. Right. Bran is not. Bran literally says, I am not here. I don't care about people. I don't have... He doesn't have human interests in mind anymore. And I think that's why he's perfect for it. It's, it's the dumbest fucking shit. Who has a better story here than Bran? Literally anyone here. Sansa would have been a better choice for yeah, Queen right. overall. And I, and I hated her character. Yeah. My, like, through, you know, minus, like, the, 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 my own, I don't know, fan theory, I guess, that she fucking manipulated the shit out of people to be Queen in the North. Yeah. She's the one of the worst characters. Arya would have been a better choice. And she's, well, she, you know, isn't, I don't know, maybe not. We don't know what the it fuck she matter. is. They really should have said, Grey Worm, fuck off. Jon Snow is, or Stannis Baratheon walking back like, I was hiding in the woods this whole time. <laughs> I survived. Fine, you killed you're me. the king. There you go. He's the guy. Yeah. Let's put him on the throne. There you go. He has as much claim as anybody. Actually, what's funny is there was a discussion. Um, 
Sanus's whole thing was because he's one of the most honorable people, quote unquote, in minus, you know, the whole letting someone burn people and his own daughter to death yeah, for religion right. purposes. Um, um, he's supposed to be super honorable. His whole thing was he's fighting for the throne because he believed 100 percent he had the strongest claim to the throne. He was right. next in line. Right. Um, fi- if he found out about Jon Snow's lineage. Mm. It's po- it's entirely possible they went, okay, you're the next in line for the throne. You have the strongest claim to the throne. Right. Depending on how he feels about Targaryens, that is. Mm. But, I mean, it would have been interesting if they had done the bait and switch where she didn't kill him because he's one, it, it's stupid as fuck that he died off screen again. And that was back when the show was still great. Yeah. Uh, back when it had source material to work from. Yeah. All right. So, so all I would have loved him showing back up. Oh, no, season, season eight's eight. fucking garbage. It is. Like, it starts the off... The first two episodes. I, f- I feel like it starts off strong. The first two and episodes. Because it's fucking, completely... It it's everything we wanted off a to fucking see. Cliff, cliff, yeah. It's... They needed... They needed to stretch this out at least one more, maybe two more seasons. Yeah. The 100% should have. Yeah. The fucking... Or, or you know what? Give us, like, two more episodes and make all the episodes the feature-length episode to oh, promise Oh, yeah, us. if they had actually been an hour yeah, and a half like, piece. Like, yeah, like an hour and a half a piece with two extra episodes, you would have had a whole lot more time to do that yeah. character development, do that character art, so you could actually justify Danny killing 800,000 people. They're, or however many she ended up killing, because there was like a million people in King's Landing or something oh like that. God, yeah. She killed at least 80% of the population. With the way they write, though, they probably would have been like, Oh no! All these people are still alive. She only killed this many people. It, it, like, but she with bur- the fucking Dothraki and the fucking Unsullied. How and, stupid and the is Nor- shit? Northmen, like, yeah. Because when Danny goes and they see her burning everything, it becomes a moral free for all. So they they're starting to rape women. They're starting to. Oh, to I'm not. Kill t- kids. I'm talking about numbers specifically. Well, I, I know saying, that, but yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. point I'm getting to, where they go from going after the Ser- the, the Golden Company they went and into, the Lannister swords. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lannister soldiers to killing everyone in sight and raping all the women. Well, they went into, oh, this is what we're doing now. Yeah. Okay. They, it was like uh, I said, it turned like, into beca- a raid. Becomes that moral free for all yeah. where nothing matters now and yeah. honor doesn't matter because our queen, the lady we're following, is fucking burning everybody in the street yeah. and destroying all the buildings. I, when that started and she's just literally destroying everything, I do not get why their reaction wasn't. We shouldn't be here anymore. Like it took that would have been my it fucking took reaction. Like Twenty minutes. I mean, it took you know them bur- burning everything, and then finally they were like, "Oh, no, no, we need to leave." Like even the Unsullied are fucking sprinting out of town because she's gone nuts. All right, so we've ran a little bit long. Yeah, we were, we're just under an hour. Um, do we want to talk about John Wick three? Do we want to like extend this episode a bit and talk about John Wick three? I mean, we could do that. And we absolutely can do that because we do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, of course. Um. So we're going to move on from Game of Thrones. Season well, uh, 8, trash. Last four episodes, trash. First two of the season, fine. First two are because they're they're fan. They're, they're, um, it's all fan service. Fan service. It's yeah. finally you get to see so many characters you've wanted to see meet and like get back together. And they do it, and it's so great, and it feels so good. And the setup for the battle you're expecting, all this good shit, and then it just starts going downhill more and more and more. Uh, at least he finally pet the dog at the end, even though the CGI for that was... So fucking terrible. So bad. So, so bad. I'm lost. What are we talking about? Uh, he finally pet uh, Snow at the end. Ghost. Ghost, whatever. Yeah, whatever, okay. Doggo. He pet the doggo. For some reason. And my, then fucks off. For some reason, my dumbass brain went, oh, we're talking about John Wick because now. Because Twitter was so, oh, we, 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 because we're, we're finalizing Game of Thrones, and yeah. then we'll talk about John I don't, Wick. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying. Like My dumb brain went... Oh yeah, there's a dog in John Wick. Everything, dude. Yeah, there's doggies in John Wick. <laughs> he there pets is. the dog, and it's and awesome. He pets the dog, and then the doggy runs up and licks his face. But yeah, <laughs> that there we go. Fucking. This is why we should not be recording at midnight. Yeah. Um. But okay, so we're gonna move on. Uh, season eight, it sucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's it. It's a disappointing. Uh, all show like lots and lots of shows have bad endings. This one didn't need to have a bad ending, even with HBO, HBO telling them we'll give you 10, 10 episodes. Could have done an hour and a half. At least it would have been a little bit better. Yeah. They needed more. They needed yeah. like another season. Um, D&B, D&D wanted to run off and write Star Wars, which I'm hoping to Christ Kathleen Kennedy takes away from them. Um, 
Yeah, so because they don't need to touch Star Wars. They do not need to touch Star Wars. Star it's Wars bad is enough. Been, it's been yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say it's been ruined enough. Yeah, they took away that fucker's um, trilogy. He was writing. Yeah. Uh, so take away D and D's. They suck. They right. wrote X Men Wolverine Origins. One of them did. Oh god. Which yeah. completely. Oh yeah. No, I get it. After seeing this season, I mean, so who, John, who sits there and sews Deadpool mouth, Deadpool's mouth up? You know, I just watched that movie. Um, this morning or yesterday, no, whatever. Wolverine Origins. No, Deadpool. Oh, okay. Deadpool. Yeah. Oh, Deadpool's the good, good. one. <laughs> and it it holds up after a few years. It's fucking so fantastic, so laughable. But anyway, we have to move on. Yes, um, John Wick. John Wick three. Similarly, uh, the one of the Deadpool two had the choreographers from John Wick. I think. Yeah, yeah, like David Leach. Yeah, uh, he's the director of John Wick, mm-hmm. I believe. And oh, he's one of the, yeah. He, and he went over and helped them with the choreography. Mm-hmm. And it was fan-fucking-tastic. Yeah. Um, I, I got to say, because uh, we I think we had the discussion where we thought Deadpool 2 was better than Deadpool. At least a little bit, I think. I think we agreed on that. Um, After having watched Deadpool for like the I don't, fifth time. I, I still think Deadpool's better. I th- yeah. Um, but the it, jokes land dead, better. It's good. Yeah, it's still great. Yeah. Like like if dead like if you put it on a scale of one to a hundred, you got Deadpool at ninety five. Deadpool two would be at like ninety three. Like it's still just yeah. about as good. But we're not talking about Deadpool because we've already done those episodes. John Wick Multiple three, times. dude. Dude, John Wick three. Like I was excited. I didn't watch any trailers again because I yeah. oh, like when it's movies I legitimately want to see like John Wick or MCU or anything. I don't watch the movies. Or I don't watch trailers. <laughs> I don't watch the movies. <laughs> I don't want to watch the movies. I don't even movies. see the movies. I don't want them to be <laughs> ruined for me. I don't. Because Endgame had Endgame spoilers, you know? Gotta avoid those spoilers. But uh, I, yeah, no, I, I didn't watch any of the trailers. But, like, with the, the dick kicking action of the first one mm-hmm. and the world building of the second one, I was like, I, I'm like, I'm excited. I don't care what it is. I just want to watch Keanu Reeves shoot, like, 120 people. Yeah. And he does that. I just want to see Keanu Reeves kill people in various interesting ways. And he does. Fucking oh, yeah. first dude who's like goddamn skinny Andre the Giant. By the he way. He beats him to death with a book. We're going to spoil this. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I, if you Go see the fucking movie. It's if great. you haven't figured that out yet, we're going to spoil John Wick 3. Yeah. Which I know uh, Rupert, who I got to give him a shout out because he keeps me on my toes when I fucked up, like forgetting to release episodes and shit. <laughs> One thing you didn't call me out on, Rupert, was when I didn't attach the MP3 to the original post, so the MP3 didn't get released until the next day. <laughs> damn it, Rupert. You're supposed to catch Joe on his dumbness. God damn it, you, you got to call me out on my shit. <laughs> no, no, seriously, I'm grateful for you guys. So, John Book 3 completely leans in. Yeah. to the over the topness this time around because like you know you, you had that extreme over the top action in the first one and you also had a little bit of a backstory or like where they established that he's the boogeyman he's the yeah. reaper he's the he's Baba, Baba Yaga Baba Yaga and it's like in the two in two they does it just kind of world build a little bit and they, in the first one it's pure revenge yeah porn. they kill his dog he, and steal his car they killed his dog wreck and stole his, car, his car blow his house up basically the whole thing is wait is, was blowing his house up in the second one that was the second one because okay. he still has his house the first one the second one he goes back to the house and then it blows up I think yeah because he goes back and gets into his basement yeah. after the after the house is destroyed and pulls out all of his old assassin shit well that was the first one I thought uh, whatever it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter so um, all the movies are great go the see first them if one you haven't pure yet pure revenge the second one starts out where he's finishing that up yeah and then he become he gets forced yeah, he gets drawn back in by a a, a, a pledge that he made yeah, to one he, of the idiot council members. He, he helped somebody before. High table? high table? I don't think the guy was a high ta- yeah, table. Yeah, he was. Member. He That's that's why... That, oh, that was actually that's the, the guy. He had just become high table. Yeah, that's the guy he killed, yeah, and that's why... The that, that's the plot of this movie, is the consequences yeah. of so, that action. that movie, he's reluctant. He doesn't want to be a part of it. That no. guy forces him to. Yeah. Um... And then in the third movie, they don't, other than obviously he's on the run, Yeah, they don't for a while give much motivation other than, okay, so you're just trying to survive? At there's this not point, really, yeah. and I, there's some people that have compl- like, that have legitimately been like, yeah, it's a great movie, except, you know, it didn't have really any motivation. I would argue that it, they don't 
to talk about it until the very end. Yeah. But his motivation is simply he's keeping the memory of his wife alive. Which is what which he wants. Which goes I mean, back he straight to says the first that. movie. He straight says that in the movie, Yeah, too. that's like, what I'm saying. Like, like there's until a point he where he says, says that. that. And then it clicks. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, like, why would you want to survive at that point? Your life is shit. You've literally been nothing but a murderer. And every second of every day is getting your ass kicked and nearly dying. So at some point, just fucking walk off a bridge. Yeah. Um, but no, he keeps on fighting and everything. And there's just why to keep his money is the memory of his wife alive, which is that's what it wasn't just about killing the dog. Yeah. And stealing the it car. Was, it was the fact that it that was, dog was the last gift from his wife. Yeah. That's right? it's all the memory of his wife. It's yeah. all keeping her alive in a way is, yeah. is John Wick's motivation throughout all of the movies. Yep. That's his main thing. It's why I love uh, that this, this movie, it's not as it's not as obvious. Mm-hmm. He says that, but yeah. I mean, it's not as obvious what he's, why he's doing all of this. Yeah. But you can also see in this movie, especially towards the end when he's fighting the guys from the raid. Yeah. He's like, he legitimately looks like, I'm so fucking tired of this. Mm-hmm. Like he just looks down. Like he's been, he, he's been, fucking he's been, been beaten down. Beaten yeah. down yeah. yeah. He's and worn he's down. like, in it, he's, you know, uh, at that point, he's been told what he's supposed to do to save himself from the high table. And he's just like, well, I'm not going to fucking do that. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. And now he's like, I'm going to have to fucking fight and kill everyone to survive. Yep. And then he does. And then, spo- you know, fucking the twist to the end. The um, what's his name? The guy. Winston. Winston. The head of the Continental fucking goes, oh, I guess he's got to die and shoots John Wick. Yeah. Which, obviously, I think he aimed for the bulletproof Oh, he absolutely coat. did, yeah. John's pissed, though. Because he, he fell mad. off a fucking building. He's the fucking... I, like, the secondary characters in John Wick have always been interesting because... Oh, yeah, for sure. They're so out there. Yeah. Uh, Winston, the fucking butler dude. Um, the all of the Yeah, the concierge. The assassins that kind of just show up. Yeah. Um... Like the guy that, that like the uh, common in the first yeah played by common, common was in, he, like he's not there much, but he's still interesting. The assassin chick in the first movie yeah who breaks the rules and then is fucking executed at the end yep um like all of these side characters are still interesting enough in their own ways, but I love the table members uh, and Lawrence Fishburne so great Lawrence oh, Fishburne yeah. is one of the greatest actors ever oh absolutely and. Him playing the 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 I, I I only call him the bird man, but he's like the homeless. He runs the under the table. Yeah, like the homeless. He's a homeless king guy. Yeah. yeah, he's the homeless. He's the king kingdom. of the homeless. The king yeah. of the homeless is a great way to put it. Yeah, he tricks uh, Fago out of a bottle. Yeah, um, orange Fago or was it orange Fanta? Yeah, I think it was Fanta. Fanta. It was Fanta. Fanta. It wasn't Fago. I can't it was have not that Fango. much respect. He's not from Michigan, so you know, he's not going to get. He's Fago also out not there. a fan of ICP. Yeah, true. He's so. Not. <laughs> I hate so much the... that they tainted that because Fago is an amazing pop. <laughs> Fago is so good. It is. Um, but he's uh, he's like the ending when he does this that monologue and John Wick is like just broken after falling off the goddamn building and hitting every pole and street sign on the way down. And fucking legs. And he's like, everything. He's like, I'm pretty fucking mad. I'm pretty fucking pissed I'm off, pretty John. Fucking pissed off, John. Are you, Are pretty you pissed fucking... off? <laughs> he's like. Yeah. Are you pretty pissed off, John? Are you pissed off, John? And just the Keanu Reeves kind of looks like, yeah, I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> that whole scene, I love Lawrence Fishburne. I gotta say, man, throughout... seven cuts or whatever it was. Yep, seven uh, cuts because he gave John Wick seven bullets. Seven bullets to kill the piece of shit. Rami Ra- Malek, I think, is the actor who played that guy. Probably, I don't. Remember. I yeah, I don't remember now. I got the idea, idea IMDb for three up, not two. But. um... Yeah, like like the movie is so. I honestly, throughout the entire movie, like in the back of my mind, I'm sitting there screaming, "Somebody shoot the educator!" Well, however you say that word, ad educator, whatever. Oh, the the yeah. I I just I just kept thinking of her as the Inquisitor. Yes, from like Warhammer somebody 40K. shoot the bitch in the head. Somebody shoot her in the head. I don't know why, but I wanted her shot in the head, and I think because- it was. A, her station, she's so fucking arrogant. Yes. But I, yes, there's a reason yes. behind it, and that's because she's fucking literally untouchable. She is the if law. If you fuck with her, the whole world will come down upon you, apparently. The whole tie table. and Which, I mean, they basically came down on John Wick, and he hadn't even fucked with her. Yeah. 
But I want well he excommunicata he sucks ass apparently. Well, he, he he did kill one of the high table members, yeah, so let's be on continental grounds no less. Yep. So he broke like seventy fucking rules right there. Excommunicado. But it's like, dude, like I wanted her to get shot in the head so many or just something happened to her to just She's knock her so down a peg. Arrogant. Not so arrogant. Like that 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 shitty pissy. Mm-hmm. I want to talk to your manager attitude that she had. And maybe it's just my years. <laughs> I got, I had the same fucking thought. I think it was my years year, of retail. Years of retail. I was like, fuck you, I Karen. Hate this bitch. Fuck you, but Karen. She was so good. She was. She Asia, played her part so good. Adjudicator. Beautiful. That's what she was. Adjudicator. But yeah. um, Asia Kate Dillon. I don't know if I've ever seen her in anything else. Is that her name? Was she? Yeah. Asia Kate Dillon? Mm-hmm. I thought you were just calling but her an Asian so Kate Dillon. Asian <laughs> Kate, she's Asian Kate Dillon, don't you know? No, she's, I don't even know if she's fucking Asian. <laughs> she's not. I mean, she could be, I guess. We're but, all gonna die. I don't but, know what um, that is, but that's funny. Like, oh my god, dude. Like, that the movie was just... It was one of those things where there was so much awesome shit happening. Mm-hmm. Kind of like how, like, Endgame just had so much shit happening at once. Was, this was kind of the same way, but it wasn't quite as overwhelming. And uh, Rupert put this a really good way in our Discord... Mm-hmm. They leaned into the anime side of it really like yeah. heavily. Like they they went over the top with everything. Yeah, and it was it was something where um, somebody else had pointed out, and I was thinking it watching after watching the movie is not not only just you know the the anime style of the action and everything they did they did what most action movies try to do but come out goofy and stupid. Yeah, this movie when it leans into the action, it's still. Awesome. Grounded it's reality. Still gro- yeah, in a way grounded. And at the same time, it's still they can have that humorous bit to it. Mm-hmm. Like when he's in the, the, the horses, the, the horse when he's riding stables. The, yeah. Not even before he's riding it. When he kills two people by smacking a horse on the ass. And, and making them horses in the head. kick them in the head. It's amazing. It was so fucking cool. We were joking before we went and saw the movie. Like, yeah, we're going to go see John Wick kill people with a horse. And he fucking kills people. John, with he the kills horses. people with a horse. He was that was so fucking. When they were running around there, the whole time I'm thinking, "Oh my god, don't walk behind a horse. Yeah, don't go around horses. They're the fucking most dangerous thing ever." And then the fucking horse kicks the dude's goddamn head off, and I was like, "Ah, there we go." Like I, I for me the horses are horrifying. I love that whole scene. I love the whole movie. There, oh, so the good. only real nitpicky thing I had was the fact that they were in the stable firing guns and none of the horses were jumping around on their own. Oh uh, yeah, they didn't like freak the fuck out. Which there was, which is something they would do in real life. Yeah, but it's like depending like, on how the horse is trained. Those horses being from New York, they're dealing with cars and things that they mm-hmm. have to be. They have to, you know, and they're get race used horses to. too. So, well, like, no, no, those weren't race horses. Those were, were, were they not at a racetrack? Uh, uh-uh, those were the horses they use in the um, rodeo. No, 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 the, the uh, carts. They? The carts they. New oh, York has. Oh, uh, got you. Yeah, all no, around never mind. Central Park. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I'm yeah, just... Is that the Kentucky Derby? No, Joe. It was in New York. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> they might have a Derby up there. <laughs> It was the Budweiser horses, Joe. They just pull things. No, but yeah, they were for the yeah. Um, they're going to be used to coach thingies. I can't remember stuff. what the stage fuck coaches. Called. Yeah, um, whatever the shit they they we they take people around stage coach. City. Yeah, yeah, stage coach tours. Yeah, um, they're in Central Park and all over. The place. Yeah, yeah, they go through the streets and stuff. So I could see them being used to a lot of loud noises. But yeah, a gunshot. You really have to get a horse I mean, yeah. used to that. That's got to be like yeah. You're, like I mean, f- when you're, they trained war horses for that, it yeah. takes. A lot of training to turn a horse into a war horse. Yeah, like you, you're going from the what eighty decibels of a car horn to mm-hmm. the hundred and ten decibels of a gunshot. Yeah. Not only that, you're inside this big metal building, so it's going to echo like fucking it would have crazy. Like, crazy. They, like I was, ex- I thought there would be a scene where there was a stampede. Yeah, or something yeah, similar like where the that, horses just fucking lose their shit. But none of these horses seem to give a shit. But John Wick smacking him on the ass kick. That pisses. Just being behind a horse pisses it the fuck off. Yeah. And that's a lot of training to be able to walk around a horse like that too. Uh huh. But yeah, they the fucking oh my god, that was so cool. That was that was one of the like, like I I was looking at an infographic, um, mm-hmm. like all the ways John Wick killed people. He shot like 124 people, but he killed like three guys with a horse. Just in this movie. Just in this just movie. The, just in this movie. He shot 124 people. He shot 124 people. He killed like 13 people with a katana. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess that was probably yeah, more a wakasashi. Those, yeah, the motorcycles. Um, well, yeah, the little shorter mm-hmm. katana swords. Yeah, 
Um, like there was something where he killed thirty six people, but I can't remember what it was. Just bladed weapons in general, probably. I know because uh, there was. Well, maybe I don't. Remember. I just. It I, doesn't matter at yeah. this point. He killed like two hundred people. He's he's got a higher body count at this point across his three movies. Then I think Jason Bourne and there was another high action, high octane action star like that, mm-hmm. that he, he outclasses them both. Yeah. Combined. He's, he's getting up there in kills and it, he it's, he killed 76 cool. people in the first movie. Yeah. One of them with a pencil or three of them with a pencil at a bar. <laughs> John um, Wick killed three men with a pencil. I yeah. love that meme. <laughs> with leaning into the, the action, the way they do, they do it in, the like a fast and the furious. They've tried. Mm-hmm. But instead, they've gone way, way out there. Yeah, which works for them yeah, in some no, you ways. Got, like you got like dropping cars from a plane and right. riding cars down a building. Or you got like okay. Hob- or Shaw, Shaw, uh, Hobbs and Shaw, where the rock is oh my literally God. being the anchor. There's point. like eight tow trucks attached to each other hanging onto a helicopter. I can't wait to see that crazy ass movie. Or I'm sitting here thinking about that. That was not a cargo copter. So I, I, it I, was like a large sized military. It was a large sized military. Might... But you're sitting there like you got you got these old cars. These old cars are made from steel. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Like like it one was... of those cars weighs like four modern sedans, right? I gotta watch the trailer again, but I I think it, it was a. Uh, it was a big that, military chopper. I'll I give think you that. It was, but it but was if also it's what I'm thinking of, you but, can lift cargo with that chopper. Yeah, but like. Eight fucking cars made from solid steel plus all the armaments? Probably not that much. Yes, that, but, that's the problem. But Luke. He, they driving. drop cars from planes, Joe. I, they, yes, they that killed, is a they, possibility, they, though. He punched a missile in the, the movie before this one. <laughs> the Rock punched a missile. So, so anything is possible. And he just Elba is Black but, Superman. Yes, and he's Black Superman. So there we go. But in John Wick... They still have that crazy action that they've leaned into, and it's a little bit goofy, but not not on that level. It, it's not, and it's it not, keeps um, the movies more interesting. Keeps, keeps them it engaging. It, it keeps you on the fucking edge of your seat. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I'm either going to piss myself or come. I don't know which. I it, might even have so a heart attack. Great. I yeah. might have all three. You know? It's it's just fucking. It's so fast, and then and then you know he kills everyone in a room. And then he still has to fucking run away and or, or, you know, it starts to slow down a little bit. Yeah. And I don't know. I just I think it's fucking great. And Keanu Reeves is the probably the only person that could do this. Yeah. I mean, um, if Tom Cruise hadn't gone insane, I could maybe see him doing this. Tom Cruise like, like he shows come back level. from being insane. Right. But I don't know if he could do this. I, I think he could because he shows that same level of devotion that Keanu has. I don't to. think he'd be as believable because he's only like five foot two. That's also true. Then, but that would be the, the problem. Like even in his movies when he does stuff like in the Mission Impossible movies. Where he's, he's literally falling down with a plane. Like well, he's going I mean down with when the he's plane. fighting people. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's very small and it's uh-huh. usually just shooting. Like I don't know. There, I guess there is a big fight with him in a bathroom in one of the movies. I have no idea. I don't remember. I've never I just, seen any Mission Impossible I just Impossible don't know movie. about him. Like, the last Tom Cruise flick I saw was... He is um, the first person I thought of that could come close to yeah. Keanu Reeves in this. Yeah. Um, especially because of his dedication to a role. Yeah. Like, he puts in as much effort as Tropic Keanu Thunder, Reeves. Man. Oh, my God. That was so great. That's like, that was the first movie I saw after he was insane. Yeah, after he did the fucking dance on Oprah's couch shit. But man, I, Keanu just fucking nailed. He it, nails man. this, and I can't wait. I, I love like like as just far as about I'm everything. Saying, he is John is Wick, like, right? Yeah. Like he he can be John Wick. All he's the time. nicest person ever. Yeah, too. And John Wick just seems like he's just a fucking. He's he just, just a dude. wants to be a dude. Just, just wants to have a night normal. He wants quiet to have a normal. Life. Yeah, just just that. And then everything fucks up, and now he's angry again. So I can't wait to see the next the next movie, which, which is, is by the way, one hundred percent happening. Uh, oh, it's twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. They've yeah. already got it. So like, two more years, guys. Plotted out. I think. Uh, one of my friends said he was that the you know that he thought it was kind of a cash grab that they've already got the next movie. I think less it was that they plan on it being a trilogy. Yeah. I think they may have had that you know idea that it would be a trilogy, got to this movie and went no this there's too much we need another film. Yeah. We need to do Which, one I mean, more. I'm completely down for a quadrilogy. Oh fuck! Yeah. Absolutely, I'm, give I'm, me, give me. John you can Wick. keep going with John Wick until I get my next, my sequel to Dread. Yeah, give me more John Wick because that's the closest of realistic to just fucking um, 
awesome action. I mean, that's, that that's, I get out of movies. That's one thing I do appreciate about John Wick. Um, you know, that like bullets, the guns do not have unlimited ammunition. Yeah, no, that that's a that's time. a big thing. Like you always see like any sort of although in this one they did maybe do that a bit because I during the scene with him and Halle Berry's character running around. I didn't they see did a whole lot of reloading in that scene. They I, did, that one but, specifically but one I was I impressed with. Is that there was not they ran out of ammo a lot, but there was not a consistent reloading scheme. One day, well, like as, well, not with him though, with her more than him. I thought there was with her. It's, no, no. They were, like, see, it honestly, there was a lot of times where I was watching it, going, "You have more bullets in that magazine." Yes, because exactly. she that's, reloaded that's all the time because they wanted every. And it was something that I I, I well, liked I'm, is they can do the same thing over and over again in these movies, and it's awesome because they've come up with something new. In that scene, it was every time she has to reload, a fucking dog comes out of nowhere and bites someone in the nuts. My, and you can watch that ten times in a row, and I'm still like, I'm still enjoying this. My thing was is I was paying very specific attention to that. Yeah. And there was an inconsistency. There was, there was she might have shot seventeen bullets one time. She might have shot nineteen bullets the next time. She might have shot fifteen the time. You know the yeah. next. Like there was that inconsistency which bothered me. Like they 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 did the, seem she didn't seem in to a reload. firefight. You so, never want to run out of bullets. Obviously. So if you fire seventeen, it, it, like a Glock can have a, a twenty round magazine, right? And not a really extended one, a, a fairly yeah, small no, compact I magazine. I know. You fire 17 shots. You f- In a firefight, you fucking reload immediately. Yeah. The second you get a chance to. So I kind of give it a little bit more credit. And that fire, that but firefight my, my, went longer than... My thing is, is I, I didn't notice her actually reloading. I did notice a dog... But I'm not. I'm well, not just paying. reloading. They constantly. She picked up new different. Uh, they, she picked well, yeah, up guns yeah. She absolutely did. Like she over had and over to. Again. Yeah. But like I, that's the thing. Like I didn't see her reload the weapon she had like extra clips for or whatever. We got to see it again because I did. I I was. I, she literally reloaded like every two seconds. It seemed like in that scene. I just didn't it was see it. either reloaded or she, she picked up another pistol. grabbed a guy yeah. and killed him and then pulled his gun off him. Or even you see, I think she does it there a little bit. But John Wick, you see it more often where he's fucking pulling the magazines out of those guys' belts. Mm-hmm. Um, my only problem with the Holly Berry stuff was I thought she was a really good character, and then when it's done, it's just bye. Yeah, she just and you never and she, she just fucks off. The rest yeah, of the she just fucks off. Which the I guess the they kind of, I mean, they kind of. That's the way she's like. I'm not helping you beyond this. You're forcing me to do this. She's fucking mad at him, mm-hmm. and then at the end, she still shoots that guy. Um, she shoots Bron. Bron. Oh my god, Bron's showing up in this. I was like, you motherfucker. Another stupid goddamn choice from Game of Thrones. Bron is the master of coin. He literally doesn't know how fucking banking works. Anyway, so. That's why he wants to build brothels. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, that was Littlefinger's position. He also ran a brothel. That, no, no, I get that. But Bron doesn't understand how fucking money works. He's, uh, this is true, yes. Um, he just wants more gold. But yeah, And a castle, more, which, which he Maybe got. that's why he should. Um, but in John Wick, it just, it was like, uh, that that whole, that whole plot kind of fizzled, Yeah, I think. Like, um, it felt like he there was wanted to go there. talk to the guy to find out where the high table, and it was kind of dumb that it's oh, walk to the sun and walk to this star and look up and then maybe he'll show. I was like, oh, okay, they're gonna go that way with it. Whatever, fine. Which explains why he was in the desert in the trailer. Yeah, walk which I to did the see some of the trailer. I didn't watch the trailer. But... All these movies lately have to show somebody in the desert. Yeah. Oh my god, man! I don't know. <laughs> but it's still like as a whole, it. I liked the way they built up the. Um, the, the the guild or the high table, the yeah. table in general. And the way they talk about Lawrence Fishburne at the end is his whole monologue to me. I took it as he's trying to push the people under the table to basically overthrow the table. Yep. To take like to to destroy it, destroy the high table and stuff. Yeah. The, the, the those who are, you know, have nothing or whatever, which is interesting. We'll see the continental going independent. Was cool for yeah. five minutes, and then he's like, "Oh, by the you know, by the way, and the whole it was all a show of strength or whatever." That felt cheap, honestly. That felt that the, felt cheap the, and like contrived. Like it didn't. It felt ham fisted. I got it, 
but the fact that she accepted it yeah was so what, easily adjudicator which i think at that point it would kind of make sense though is when you calculate the number of deaths the 200 at some point the high table has to start going maybe it's not worth it yeah to fucking we att- just lost, attempt to kill john wick we just lost maybe all these it's guys. not worth it yeah because that's to God, one dude, well, two dudes, to, well, yeah, two dudes and a team of elite. Uh, I'm guards. sure the rest of the guards, you know, some of them got kills. They show that they're still alive at the end. Some, some of them are, yeah, yeah. But um, I, so it's I get I get that where it's the it's you know you you get but it still felt odd at the yeah. end. Yeah. Um, I don't know, rushed if rushed is the right word, but yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Like, Emphasis is, is what yeah, it was just a, like like it just it felt like it was a plot excuse. Yes. Yeah. Like, like it was an it was an excuse just to go in this direction. Well, it's like I guess you know she her her trump card was the um, zero is what the character's name was. I don't think they ever say it, but the the bald Asian dude and his people, yeah, who apparently are the fucking best of the best because they annihilate the weird Russian clan uh-huh. and the fucking homeless clan, yeah, pretty thoroughly. Yep, uh, when they're punishing those members, yeah, and then. They, I, John Wick wipes them the fuck out. Yeah, and you know kills that guy. Doesn't kill the other two, the guys from the raid, which was cool. But yeah, no, because you know, like he leaves them to stay there, and they're just like, oh god, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they're just on the ground, like, oh, okay, they, I guess fight is over they, today. Because they're doing so well against him, they're kicking his ass for a while, and then he starts coming back, and he beats well, them. Even, I loved the idea that they're like, uh, it's an honor to fight you, and all yeah. this stuff. And same thing with the Zero dude. Yeah, his whole thing is like he's a fanboy. Yeah, he totally yeah, I is. I fully expected him to ask for an autograph at some point, <laughs> which I love that. <laughs> Yeah, that would you know what that would have been nice, honestly. But the would, same job. It would have been, would have been <laughs> no, so <we're> silly. <laughs> yeah. To, to have that, and I would have loved to have that or, little bit of cheese. Or, or like, can I get a selfie? <laughs> Come on, John, and click. You know, pull this fucking been iPhone so out. Funny. Oh my god. Actually, it's Samsung Galaxy Fold because that's not a disaster. Yeah. But uh, I, <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. Like, that would have been great product placement. Oh, let me get my phone, and he pulls out the fold. It's just completely smashed. Like, oh, no. Oh, well. <laughs> or the Note 7. It just Wait, explodes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use it as a bomb. Oh, man. Uh, dude, I, I, I like the line. that he, The last line that he has in that movie. I'll, go on, John. I'll catch up. I'll catch up. No, you won't. Because <laughs> he's just laying there. He's, he's been just, stabbed he's just, through. He, he's, he's down on his knees. He's in immense pain. He's got a fucking sword sticking through the straight the straight yeah. center of his chest. So his diaphragm is just cut up. He's having difficulty breathing. He's fucked. No, yeah, no, no. no. He, was, he was fucking dead. And it was like, I was kind of sad that he died. Common, common survived. And never came back, which was a little frustrating. A little I bit kind weird. of expected. Like, him to come I would back. have loved to have him like pop up, yeah. at least in this movie. You yeah, know? like have him show up and, and tie up that little plot point nicely, or just like have him have another showdown with him again because that showdown in the first one was great too. It was pretty cool. I think my thing with that though is Zero was believable as someone who could kind of give John stand Wood. up to John yeah. yeah same thing with the other two guys the, yeah the guys on the right the, those guys that's what they do is up close fighting mm-hmm. um common seems like he's a gun guy like John but if they got like the, the they have the knife fight in the train right yeah yeah I think ultimately John would fucking destroy him probably because even exhausted and beaten to hell and back he fights two goddamn ninjas yeah and they're kicking his ass for a while and then he fucking catches his breath and annihilates and, yeah, them. Absolutely does. Starts. They throw him through eighteen glass planes. Dude, I got like during that entire scene. <laughs> that I'm hilarious. sitting there thinking, like, does David Leach have a thing against glass? Like, does yes. he just, does he just hate windows? He's like, I just want to see someone get thrown through glass a hundred times. <laughs> like, is he? Uh, Keanu got thrown through so many glass displays that had like glass skulls in them. It's like <laughs> glass skulls, and then the armor display. Yeah, and... like like. Do you just hate glass, dude? Like that was so funny. Did it did it rape your mom when you were a kid? I don't know what's going on here. It's, like it's weird. Where, like I said, with the dog thing. Yeah, I can I see it ten fucking times. Absolutely, row, yeah. And it's awesome the whole time. They do that with knives at the beginning, mm-hmm. where they get they grow it go in. Yeah, the, yeah. When they're running through that, that was that, so those goofy those funny moments that they interject where they're fighting and then they both turn and look and see that they're in a goddamn weapon shop. 
<laughs> and they turn and there's just each knives other. all over in this this little hallway <laughs> they're in. Crazy. They're like in a hallway full of cupboards, and in these cupboards, it's like an knives. ancient weapon shop or yeah. something. They look at the knives, look at each other, look back at the knives, look at each other, and smash, grab, and start just fighting with just knives, fucking throwing. And he throws like eighteen knives into one dude. Yes, and it's like, oh my god, just like, dude, just stay down. Just, yeah, you, you've got just seven stop. knives just, in oh your god. dick. Just oh, stay down, oh dude. God, just no. stay down. And he's just. Funk, funk, funk. <laughs> oh, that's so. That was intense. That was like that. That like this was just a great fucking movie from beginning to end. You yeah. know, it's like it's like shoot 'em up, but with actual plot. It's like shoot 'em up, but good. I don't know. It was yeah. It's it's that other side of not goofy. The action is just I don't Over know. The it's top just and, so. And, so amazingly well done. Yeah. You can see every bit of it. You know what's happening. You can there's see not, them doing real moves. There's not 37 moves. jump cuts to have Keanu yeah. jump over a fence, you know? Yeah. The, there's not jump cuts and stuff. That scene with him and um, her running through with the dogs and just, there's like 90 guys there. Yeah. And they're having a massive fucking gunfight. Yeah. And I like, well, that's the thing that I love so much about it is like with the hand-to-hand combat, it was all filmed, like, on one camera, yeah. you know? There wasn't a camera over here, a camera over here, and a camera over here, and every time a swing was taken, you know, you had that jump cut. There was none of that. I love the I love the choreography in it. I, I really want to see more. Obviously, I want more John Wick. Yeah. I want to see the Raid guys do another movie. Yeah. I would love they're to fucking see great. Because the Raid and Raid 2, despite being vastly different movies, were so good yeah. at that. Like, they were so good at that. They really so were. Good. The choreography in those movies was amazing. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. In this movie. Luke yep. is falling asleep. I can see it in his face. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm totally in, but... Um, so we're going to go ahead and wind it down there. Go see John Wick. Don't bother finishing Game of Thrones. It fucking sucked. Or do, if you want to have that closure I mean, and see Danny yeah. get stabbed in the chest. See the closure. It's kind of... Closure if you're a is fan... something that was invented by Steven Spielberg to sell movies. <laughs> if you're a fan... <laughs> yep, pretty much. If you're a fan of the Starks, I mean, they're all fucking idiots in this season but they all get a happy ending dude i've been on team they aria they, since since they, since they the all beginning. get what they want and she's the only good character i think in the in the end I no, guess you know what's funny is the only character i liked at the end of all this was sir davos and him he's the only like i aria just forgot that she's the faceless man and became i'm a badass again mm. and it was she became aria from like season five or whenever before she started training so like legit training? <laughs> no, no, no. Before she started training with, with uh, um, like season three or four. No, no, no. Like with the face. I know that man. was like season three or four. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Because season three or four, she was running four around. Four or four the is hound. when she got into the uh, city where uh, where she got into Bravos at the end. She of four. was in that fucking city for four seasons. She was in that city for two seasons. Because from six just... on, she was wandering around the countryside. Dude, I don't know. I'm rewatching it. I'll tell you again. Yeah, I think you've got. I think you're like two seasons. It doesn't ahead. matter at this point because it's everywhere. either way. Like before, when she was with the Hound and thought she was the hottest shit in the world. Yeah, that's the that's Arya three, you get four, in. And then in five, that's the Arya you get at in the end this. of four. Towards the end, of, beginning of five is when she moves on to Bravos and becomes starts training with him. This and then, is the eighth season, right? Yeah. So. Seventh Six. season is when she kills. The end of the sixth season is when she kills Walter Frey. Seventh yes. season is okay. So seventh. fifth season she's in Bravos. Fourth Six. season she's still wandering the countryside with Brienne. And that's and, what oh, that's yeah. what I said. Three, four. She's just stupid as fuck. Yeah. Either way, it's she, terrible. I she was, she was to a, me. She went. She backtracked. Yeah. As a character. Yeah. In development. We're gonna go off on Game of Thrones tangent again. I know. Shut, you, we need to cut it down. Fucking, Plus, it's like one thirty in the morning. Jon Snow got to go play around in the north. Fuck you, John. So dumb. You know what? I'm fucking Team Ghost because that dog was awesome. Didn't do shit. He got his ear <laughs> bitten off. Damn it. Which I'm wondering when the fuck that happened. Um. Because he had his ear the, at the um, end of the long night. No, he didn't. Didn't he? I thought no. at the end he did. Yeah, it was at, it, that okay. was when it happened. It was during that, yeah. Because I thought it was, it was during, it was during the battle for Winterfell, during the, the long night. She don't where... see him at all. He really... runs off with the fucking Dothraki and um, never comes back. No, he. he you, I think you see him in the castle attacking the thing or whatever. And that's how his... I think he's... Uh, I, I want to say... I know for a fact that there is no 
he's not there and nobody knew he was live until the next episode. Right. Because he does not show up towards the end of that episode. I don't know. There was a lot happening in that episode. There was. It was all pretty fucking lame. God. Anyway. The coolest part of that episode was the dragon in the courtyard. Just and John fucking not shit. fighting the fucking... God, fucking... God, they suck. That, and I gotta say, I really did like Arya finishing the blow... F- delivering that final blow. I don't... The Night King. The move was cool. Everything else about it was dumb Oh, no. As fuck. I, I, I didn't say anything else was good. Yeah. I said I just love that particular, like, ten seconds. Where she runs up, he catches her, she drops a knife and stabs him. Yeah. I can't even... I can't even appreciate that... Because it's just more of the, well, we don't know how to write an ending here. So, uh, yeah. oh, Arya. We don't fucking, know what to do with a strong female Arya character. jumps at him. Yeah. And stabs him. And, oh, we've been fucking. Uh, anyway. Fuck them. John Wick. Fuck them. Parabellum. Go see that. Just fucking it's amazing. Fucking great. Such a great flick. If you are a fan at all of the first two, this one takes everything they did and does it better. Yeah. Bigger, fast, flashier, more fun, more awesome. So for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Fuck D&D. No, we like D&D. No, the writers. 